Statistical investigation. We wanted to know, do Year 7 girls have a wider arm span than Year 7 boys? To gather our information, we asked 30 Year 7 boys and 30 Year 7 girls what their gender is and what their arm span is. And we have our data. Here we have a table showing the mean, median, mode and range of both the boys and girls recordings. We can see from this table that the average arm span for girls was wider than the average arm span for boys. We can also see that the most common arm span for girls was higher than the boys. This was done by comparing the mean, median, mode and range from both genders. The data we have collected has been sorted into a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot. As the stem, we have 12 to 18, representing 120 through to 180. On the left, we have the girls, and on the right, we have the boys. From this plot, we can see that girls are most dominant in 160cm and 150cm leaf, and the boys are more dominant in the 150cm leaf. Summary of our data, a frequency table has been used. In the first column, we have the measurements from 120 to 189, and in the second column, we have a tally for the boys' arm spans, and in the last column, we have a tally for the girls' arm spans. Here we have a double column graph which shows both the arm span measurements of the girls and boys. On the horizontal line we have the widths of the arm spans from 120 centimetres to 189 centimetres. And on the vertical line we have the number of students who participated in the questionnaire. Similar to the double column graph, the dot plot uses a horizontal line to represent the arm span and a vertical line to represent the tally of students. In this plot we can see that there is a spike of dots between 150cm and 169cm for the girls. When we look at the boys we can see a spike only between 150 and 159cm. To represent the data in a pie graph, we need to use two separate graphs in order for it to be accurate. In the first graph, we can see the boys' results, and in the second, we can see the girls' results. From comparing and interpreting the data, we can see clearly that on average, Year 7 girls have wider arm spans than Year 7 boys. When we look at the data, we can see a massive difference in both genders, mean, median, mode and range. We can also see from the graphs that the girls' arm span spike is at a larger width than the boys. There are many reasons why we need to do statistical investigations. For this particular one, we can use the data to understand the physical development of both boys and girls when they reach year 7, and understand that in most cases, girls develop at a faster rate than boys at this age. Created using Powtoon.